Hey guys, welcome back to our channel to go find a lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. So, if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for 18 thousand subscribers finally as i did i've been waiting for this for too long since last year thank you to everyone that has subscribed thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for commenting and just thank you for watching you guys are the best we are very much appreciative i hope you guys are doing all right i may stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to 10 prophets in both the quran and bible so Without wasting time, I'm very excited. Let's get into the video. The Bible and the Quran are the holy books of Christians and Muslims, respectively. Although each book contains content not mentioned in the other, there are still many important prophets of old who are featured in both of these books. Hey guys, welcome to another FTD Facts episode. My name is Leroy Kenton, and in this episode, it was requested by a huge supporter of FTD Facts, Sayyid Anas Razvi. He wanted us to make a video about the prophets in both the Bible and the Quran from the different perspectives. So I decided to compile a list of 10 of these prophets into one video. And if you guys want more videos where I explore the different prophets, just let me know by leaving a like on this video and uh, sounding off in the comments section below, letting me know that's what you want. So starting off, at number 10, we have Ibrahim or Abraham. Now this prophet Abraham is also known in Islam as Khalil Allah, meaning the friend of Allah, and similarly in Christianity, the friend of God. He was mainly known for being the first person to build the Kaaba, and he propagated a monotheistic belief of God and was the father of Isaac and Ishmael. Now Isaac gave birth to the Jewish nation and Ishmael gave birth to the Arab nation. At number nine, we have the prophet Musa or Moses and by the way throughout this episode I'm probably going to be using the English pronunciation because that's what I'm familiar with just letting you know Moses received the Torah from God and he was sent to confront Pharaoh who considered himself to be a God and he commanded the people of Israel to be released from slavery out of Egypt God used Moses to deliver them out of there Eunice is up next known as Jonah and Jonah was sent to warn the people of Nineveh to turn away from their evil ways and turn back to God. Now, Jonah decided to run away and was eventually swallowed by this big fish. He repented and he was eventually spit out by the fish on dry land. So after that, Jonah, of course, learned his lesson. I ain't running from God no more. I'm just gonna do what he says. And he ended up delivering the message to the people of Nineveh. And yet they did turn back to God. The prophet Nuh is up next and that's equivalent to the name Noah. So the prophet Noah preached for many years that there's gonna be this massive flood that was coming to the earth. So he ended up building this ark that protected him and his family from this severe flood that was sent to punish humanity for all of their unholy thoughts as well as their evil actions. Another prophet appearing in the Bible and Quran is Yaqub. It sounds familiar to people that may not know that name. Yeah, that's a prophet Jacob. Jacob is also part of the family of Ibrahim, Abraham. So Abraham was his grandfather and his father was Isaac and Jacob was the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now during the life of the prophet, God had changed his name from Jacob to Israel and that's where the term children of Israel comes from. Halfway in, we have the prophet Ayub known as Job in the Bible. Now, Job suffered for a long time and was greatly tested by God, but yet he remained very true to his faith. Job showed that no matter how much a person is going through in life, whether it's uh, severe sickness or ridicule from loved ones or even the loss of loved ones or whatever it may be, you can make it through if you hold on to your faith and never let your circumstances affect your faith. Dawood comes in at the number four spot and that is David. 
So David was the second king of Israel and in the Quran and the Bible, he received the divine revelations of the book of Psalms. This book contains songs and poems as well as instructions for people on how to live great lives as well as it contained quite a bit of prophecies inside of there. Suleiman comes at number three and Suleiman of course is Solomon. One of the most well-known prophets is the son of King David. Solomon also became a king of Israel in place of his father David and God blessed Solomon with tremendous amounts of wisdom and he had the ability to speak to animals and to command jinn and do all sorts of amazing things. He was considered to be the wisest and perhaps even the wealthiest ruler that has ever existed in the world. Number two is Yahya or John the Baptist. John the Baptist's birth was foretold to his father Zachariah by the angel Gabriel and as he grew up God gave him more and more wisdom and he he was encouraged to hold on to the scriptures. John was a prophet who would announce the arrival of Isa or Jesus. And great segue to number one because we do have Jesus up next. Jesus or Isa as he's called in the Quran is the son of Mary aka Miriam and he is pretty much the miracle of the prophets because he was born without an earthly father. Although Muslims and Christians have differing views of the nature of Jesus, both the Quran and the Bible mention Jesus a lot and both recognize him as the messenger of God sent to guide the people to a life of love for God as well as love for humanity and a life filled with good deeds. Jesus is also very well known for the numerous miracles that he performed. So there you have it guys, those were 10 prophets that were both mentioned in the Quran and the Bible. Again, thanks to my brother man Sayyid Anas Razvi for suggesting this video. And if you guys have any suggestions or requests for future episodes that you wanna see here on FTD Facts, let me know down below in the comment section or shoot me a message on social media and I'll start working on some videos and if I use your request, I'll definitely give you a shout out in a future episode. Now, if you need another dose of FTD Facts in your day, why not check out another episode right here? So if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can keep up with our daily episodes. My social media links are also below in the video description section, so I'll see you over there as well. And that's it for me, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. There's, there's these similarities, and I'm sure the word is not different when it comes to these prophets mentioned. It's just so exciting. I'd actually love to read or react to uh, stories from either side whether the christian point of view or the islamic point of view even just reading it will excite me this is something that i would really really love to look into there is not much to say about this because he was just mentioning the prophets but if you have contributions concerning their characteristics or something let us know in the comment section below we're more than glad uh, to read your comments remember to be kind and yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video